Hey everybody, this is Tri-State Ernie here in Charleston, West Virginia. So this video is pretty much all about the actual fluctuation of the gas prices that just now happened here in the last couple, well, hours. Um, I woke up this morning and my gas prices here in West Virginia has went up to about $3 a gallon, which I don't understand why. And I'm just curious on what, you know, the government thinks about this and what you guys think about this. So my question is, or my statement is, I guess right now, it doesn't really matter uh, what gas prices go up to because now the government pretty much knows that if you need gas you're going to definitely buy gas you have to have gas right now for all vehicles to move and you know it's just a way that they know that we are going to spend the money for the gas so it doesn't really matter if it goes up to five six seven eight maybe ten dollars a gallon it doesn't really matter because they know that we need gas to actually function in life do i think it's fair no um, I don't think there's any gas shortages right now in America. I don't keep up with news because I think news is kind of negative. But maybe there is, and I don't know anything about it. But like I said, I don't think I've seen, seen anything in the news about this. So I don't understand why. Um, but nonetheless, I don't know where it is in your area where you may live at, where you're watching this video, what state you live in. I don't know if yours has went up this high, but... Three dollars a gallon is kind of nonsense, I believe, and it could be because the recent uh, or the upcoming uh, Memorial Day is coming up. A lot of people travel, and they're just gonna take advantage of people traveling. Do I think that's fair? No, but that's just my two cents on it. But nonetheless, I don't know if it's gonna continue to go up because summertime is coming up. That could be another reason why. I guess that we will never know why, but like I said, I think the government's or whoever's controlling gasoline prices, everything, they already know that regardless of how much it goes up to, we will uh, pay the money for the actual gas that we need to actually function in life. So nonetheless, and it gives us opportunities for other vehicles to come at this more fuel efficient. And that's my job as this car salesman to sell vehicles. So, but I'll ask is keep in touch with this video here, stay tuned and uh, we'll go on and show some extra vehicles that could save you some gas on money. So, as promised, I said that I would uh, give you guys some options that we do here, or that we do have here at Joe Holland Hyundai to give you guys some really good fuel economy since, you know, gas prices has gone through the roof. So, one thing that Hyundai really, 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 really is really good at, I must say, is safety. Enjoy the cars that we do have on a lot have a really good crash rating. And another thing that you know, I've been selling Hyundai's for about mm, over 13 years, and only thing that's really been improving a whole lot is also the fuel economy that you get with these cars. So, to give you guys a couple examples of some really good cars that we do have here on the lot that gives you really good fuel economy. First off, that I want to show you is one of our top sellers that we do have here and that is hold on a second let me switch over to it all right now we're back is the all new 2018 Hyundai Elantra the Elantra like I said is probably one of our best selling vehicles that we do here or we do have here at Joe Holland and one is because of the safety like i said it's a really good safety vehicle and another thing is because of the fuel rating that it gets on it now to give you an example of what the fuel rating is on the 2018 elantra we'll look at this one here and as you can see it's a 2018 elantra se here's all the safety ratings on it but we'll zoom right here on the fuel economy so You'll get 29 in the city, 38 on the highway with a combined of 33 miles per gallon. And your annual fuel cost on this car is around $1,100 uh, annually. So that's a great, you know, car that you can actually get to get you pretty good gas mileage. Another one that we'll look at, if I have one on the lot, I just sold one to a customer it was a 2000 redesigned accent and i want to say congratulations to jasmine 
on her new accent, new redesigned accent. And there it is there. This is the all new, and I'll be doing a walk around video on this one later, but as of right now, we'll just talk about the fuel economy on it. Um, all totally new redesign for this year. And the fuel rating on this one, it's a little bit smaller car. And it gets pretty much, you know, about the same as the Elantra. You'll get about 28 in the city, 38 on the highway with a combined of 32. And it's around about the same annual fuel cost. Now, if you're looking for SUVs, which is kind of hard to get as a SUV that gets you really good fuel economy. But me personally, I believe Hyundai has probably one of the best small SUVs that will get you that. And we'll walk down here and look at it. And as the 2018 Hyundai Tucson. Like I said, don't be surprised. A lot of people, you know, want great fuel economy and get an SUV. It's kind of hard to do. This is an all wheel drive one here of the Tucson. I don't know if you can see the sticker, but I'll read it out to you. You can get around about 23 combined with 21 city and 26 highway. And like I said, this is an all wheel drive version of that. And they also have the eco model, which I don't have right now to show you the sticker of, but let me see if I have a front wheel drive one. Here we go. And here is a front wheel drive SC model. I don't know if you see the sticker because the clouds be reflected off the window, but you're getting 26 combined city and highway, 23 city and 30 on the highway. So, oh yeah, there's a Sonata. Another great car from Hyundai. Let's see what this gets here. The all new redesigned 2018 Sonata this year will get you around 28 combined city and highway, 25 in the city and 35 in the highway. So there are some choices for everyone here for, from Hyundai that gives you really good you know, fuel economy to try to fight against this uh, rising fuel cost that's coming up. But hold up, I forgot one. This is another card I'm going to do a walk around on soon. This is the Ionic. <laughs> if you're looking for really great fuel economy here, let's check this out. It's a hybrid, hybrid limited we have here. 55 miles per gallon in the city, 54 on the highway with a combined of 55 city and highway. I guess there's not really much to say about that one. It's just... You know, just get really good fuel economy with that one. So uh, there are some choices there from Hyundai that will get you some really good fuel numbers to fight against this rising fuel economy or fuel prices that's going up. And like I said, if you guys have any questions about any of the vehicles I just showed you, feel free to call me at 304-744-1561 or email me at erobertson at joeholland.com. Thanks again for watching. Please hit subscribe and like and comment below. Thanks again.